Hello action figure fans, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger. This was released in 2020, it's made by Hasbro. I bought this in a store in 2020. Here it is in a very nice window package. I like the window packages so we can see the action figure and the accessories. We can make sure we have the correct action figure, we can make sure it looks good, and we can make sure all the accessories are there. So it's a very nice um, package here. Here's the front of the package, and I like this picture on the side where it wraps around to the other side. Looks pretty nice there. Here's the top of the package. Here is the bottom. Here's the other side with another nice picture and the back that shows the action figure in a pose plus more um, manufacturing information down here. What seems to be missing is a cross cell showing the other action figures that are part of this fifth wave of Power Rangers Lightning Collection. So in just a moment I will open this up and review the action figure. Here are the accessories we get with this Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger. We have a pair of fisted hands. So I think we've seen these hands before. They're nicely sculpted. Uh, no paint detail. Uh, long, thin pegs. So I'm a little weary of trying to um, swap out the hands because I'm afraid these long, thin pieces of plastic will uh, break. But they do have hinges. So those are working. We have a uh, blaster here looks like it's nicely sculpted nicely painted so it looks nice we have an energy effect kind of a clear blue plastic very pliable so we can wrap this around different things for an energy or lightning effect we have his weapons I'm not sure what these are called but here it's in two separate pieces in this form. It's made of a pliable plastic. So we'll see how long those last, but nicely sculpted and painted. And it looks like the same weapon in its extended form. It's also a pliable plastic. So all of it will bend, but it's nicely sculpted and it does have some paint details on it, so pretty nice. And then here is Billy, his human head, so it has a full head of hair, and maybe it does look like him. I've been watching the Power Rangers series and I'm about halfway through Power Rangers Turbo, but I think this looks alright. I'm not so sure about the glasses. I think uh, there, it's lacking some paint detail. Uh, should maybe have some black paint on the, the rims. That looks alright. Here is the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger. Let's see how tall this action figure is. According to the tape measure, it's a little less than six and one quarter inches tall or a little less than 16 centimeters tall. So it's a nicely sized action figure. So this is the Blue Ranger and I think his animal was the Triceratops. And it looks like he has representation for three horns on the helmet. And as far as I can tell it looks like it's pretty good. Um, I did watch the show, but I didn't pay very much attention to the details of the helmet, so it might not be 100% accurate, but I think it's alright. So I think this body mold is identical to the other um, Power Rangers body molds for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's uh, just in blue. What I liked about these Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection is that these were a little more uh, normal human looking type action figures. 
So that's part of why I decided to buy these. So I think it looks very nice. Yeah, you know, we have some wrinkles sculpted into the the body to show that it's cloth covering a human body. Some nice uh, paint detail there on the belt. And these are some gripping hands. And a you know, nice wrinkles sculpted throughout the uniform and on the boots. So uh, peg holes on the heels there. So it just looks like a relatively normal looking human being in an outfit. So let's take a look at the uh, articulation. Okay, we can look up a little bit, look down more, we can turn side to side. Uh, just a tiny bit of um, tilting. We have butterfly joints here. That uh, looks pretty nice. So they painted the inside here white. So it looks like they did a nice job there. We can go up. Pretty nice. There's very soft ratcheting inside there. So the shoulder joints seem to be working. We can go around. We have bicep cuts. So that's working. We have double jointed elbows. So those are working nicely. Now they were a bit stiff at first, but now they're loosening up. It is kind of uh, a nice warm summer day today. Now we can turn the wrists and there are hinges in the wrists so it's working and we have a diaphragm cut here go forward and back go around we have an abdomen crunch there and pretty stiff there there's a loud click there but that was a ratcheted joint in there so that's working pretty nicely here's a holster it's attached to the belt it's pliable plastic so it will move out of our way here and we can do the splits although not very good i would expect a little more um flexibility and bigger splits for martial artists but not too terrible we can kick forward that much and back just a tiny bit kick forward and back just a little bit we have upper thigh cuts so that's working Then we have double jointed knees. There we go. So both sides are working nicely. Not too bad. I will straighten these out here. And we have a boot cut there. And this side works also. And we can do tippy toes. Very nice. And then go up. And we have ankle pivot. On both sides. So all of the joints are actually working pretty nicely. I'm very happy about that. So this action figure was released in 2020. It's been in the package for about three years. And 
they're a bit stiff at first but they're loosening up a little bit now it could be because I've been working at it or it's a nice warm summer day or um, well we'll see how long the joints last I don't want them to become too loose because I still want to be able to stand this action figure up and put it in poses but it's looking pretty good so far whoops let's see if I can get him to um, stand there we go here is the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger next to a pair of 4 inch action figures on the right is an adventurer from an Animal Planet set I reviewed a while ago and on the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares here is the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger next to a 6 inch action figure on the left the Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc action figure by Jazzwares and a 7 inch action figure on the right the Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel and this blue Mighty Morphin Ranger fits in well with either 6 inch scale or 7 inch scale here is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team lineup that we have so far after five waves of Power Rangers Lightning Collection looks like we have just one more regular member of the team uh, coming up in the next wave so, so far it's a pretty good looking team here the Hammertron Sledgehammer rating for this Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger action figure by Hasbro is it's okay I'm actually very happy that all of the joints were working for me the first time around I didn't have to warm it up although it is a nice warm summer day here at the time of this uh, video and it looks pretty good uh, the weapon is a bit pliable um, so we have to be careful how we put it in the hands otherwise it'll uh, bend the weapon but maybe the pliability is a good thing gives us more um, room to work with but um, I can't rate it any higher than this because I'm just worried about Hasro's quality as of 2023 and although this action figure was released in 2020 uh, it could be uh, shortly after 2020 is when Hasbro's quality started really declining it is a pretty good action figure um, I'm a little disappointed that Hasbro has put the Power Rangers Lightning Collection on hold as of 2023 so thank you for watching my review video remember to like the video leave a comment let me know what you think of this action figure and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews I'll see you next time action figure fans